Welcome back to another Game of Boy Gossip podcast. I am one head of a three-headed dragon, um, <laughs> Ice Machine 12. This is Stinky Boy with me and Woody is Gravy. Welcome back, ah! y'all. Yeah, I'm like the, yeah. the stupid head of the dragon. <laughs> yeah. Nicholas is the fired up one. <laughs> it's been yeah. a fucking day, boys. <laughs> oh, man. As he cracks a twisted tea. Yeah, yeah brother. Still That's his fourth myself. one already. He's been home for two minutes. <laughs> Boys, I worked an 11-hour day today. Yikes. That's terrible. Yeah. Got into work at 7, got home at 6, or off at 6, I guess. That Jesus, sounds man. horrible, dude. Yeah, it wasn't That's very like fun. The worst of them. Especially the when, weren't you expecting to get off early today, too? I was hoping. I was hopeful. Yeah. Hoping. Okay. okay. Hoping like, against hope. Yeah. That would have fucking sucked. No, yeah, no. They... I knew I knew today was going to be kind of crazy, but not this bad. I did not anticipate it being this shitty. When it's when it's like that though, when you're hoping for something, you're it's in your mind and in your feeling, in your gut, it's like I'm getting off early, you know, when it's something like that. So that hurts yeah. even worse when you <laughs> Yeah, it was especially bad. on like a Monday or a Friday too. Like yeah, those, those two, two days are, specifically, yeah. it's like, okay, I'm getting out of this hellhole early on monday or i'm getting away early for a weekend so and we yeah we yeah making it look at it <laughs> you know what? i'm very glad that i got home <laughs> haven't even changed yet to do this podcast come downstairs my wife i was like hey wife glad to be home love you hi dog <laughs> came downstairs closed the door and you two were just <laughs> fucking around not having anything ready well, and here we are 30 minutes later. To be fair, we weren't fucking around. We were trying to get it ready. We're just a couple yeah. of bumbling idiots. And yeah. <laughs> it wasn't because sure. we weren't trying. I hopped yeah, on we like 30, 45 minutes early yeah, dude. just to figure this out. We were trying I to get it going. I came a long way, and you caught the tail end of us almost <laughs> oh getting it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I was getting texts about you guys like, all right, I'm hopping on now. I'm hot on now. I'm like, I'm still a fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even haven't even logged out of my computer for the day. Gosh darn it! My but bad, you know man. what? Oh, man. great start to the week. It was a good weekend though. I did have a good weekend. Was it? Yeah. What did you get yeah. to? Uh, the the wife's family came up, or some of them came up. We went to a cardinal game. Um, we hung out around the foundry, in uh, over by IKEA. Yeah. Um, that's a the only place. place. It was fun. It was very fun. Did some putt shack. I beat them. For twice for acting, the so uninformed, hard. the foundry is a big European style food hall. Basically, it's got stores and bars and and gaming. I mean, I know there's a VR game room. There's a VR game set. Uh, there is a. Which it's I called Putt Shack. Game. It's like a four nine hole course mini golf um yeah. bar so, restaurant all in one there's boutiques there's ikea right there's next time. to it there's a fresh time fresh. right there yeah with the biggest fucking avocados i've ever seen i swear to god they were almost the size of my head never seen Love them. you gotta have your avocados plump yeah um <laughs> the only problem was we had to leave danny at home the entire time so me and my wife were feeling guilty leaving her home the entire time yeah yeah yeah. Just, just taking. Does she still have her. that? Just put her in a purse. Yeah, she's a little bit big for a purse. Yeah, you'd, you'd have to get one of those. Uh, now that everything is, you have to bring a clear bag. Could you imagine just taking your sixty-pound dog <laughs> in a clear sixty-pound pit, bull, 60 pound pit, <laughs> pit bull going into Bush Stadium or something? <laughs> What's just, just my purse? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just it's uh, clear. It's just you the design. It's just the design. <laughs> yeah, it's a three D like prism. You know, one of those laser prism things that they would engrave from when we were kids. You know what I'm talking about? This is like that with the dog inside the purse. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you guys left me <laughs> Absolutely. That pretty funny. Yeah, absolutely. When you said prism. I thought Pink Floyd first. And I was like, where is he going? <laughs> that's I've all I think. That's the first thing I think about while. anytime I hear prism. Yeah. I've been saying it for a while. Yeah. We got to work on our improv. <laughs> <laughs> yes and not, not yes and not not just no no no, <laughs> no and no again yeah no and you're stupid and stop talking yeah. you ruined it so yeah yeah 
but it was but, a game. So her little Danny wait. girl was at home. Yes, yeah. she was, but she was fine afterwards. We. Does she still have that cone on no. her? No, 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 no. We took off? we took that off of her, um, because she would like knock all the stuff off of our like table and stuff. <laughs> um, she's not graceful to start off with, and she had that cone on, no, um, and she would try to take it off. So she almost like scratched her neck almost raw oh, one day, and we were like, "Yeah, geez. no, we're not doing this anymore." That made my stomach hurt. I know, yeah. but she's fine now. We don't need the cone on her anymore. Was We're all good. Like just the ones that you get from the vet, like the ones that like don't they just like kind of hook around? Yeah, they're it's know, like, like a it's a plastic, plastic, you know, thing that you right. hook here and it has connections and everything. But she would take that off. She was smart yeah. enough to take it off, so I had to weave her uh, collar in through it so she couldn't take it off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now be honest, since she's not wearing it, have you put it on yet? No, no, <laughs> no, I haven't. I'm scared of that thing. Cap. It's being Cap. really bad no. because, I mean, as we found out last week, he gets, he throws up before every episode. So it'd just be. Yes. Sitting, just right sitting right here. Oh. Pile of vomit. Ew, gross. The show but, must go on. Dude, oh, God, how long. Down, like, through the scenes. I was thinking about this whenever we actually had it on her one day. How long do you think you guys could actually last if you had to have a cone on? Now, there's, I, I figured out whenever I was thinking about it, there's two stipulations with two different answers. One, you're able to use your hands, you know, to, to, to still do stuff around it. And then two, being like a dog where you can't do anything with your hands because obviously they can't use their paws. That, I don't know. I feel like if I could use my hands, I could go a solid, I feel like a couple days, honestly being oh. in a cone well, okay, if i could so use my hands is it a cone because whenever you you did that you your motion straight up like we if we put on a dog yeah dog cone so but dogs don't have it like that because it'd be pointing up so would we have a cone that's like coming out like handmaid's tail style oh i guess i guess oh, oh that's point. another thing yeah because otherwise okay. with this cone to make it more accurate, you'd have to be doing like right. this the entire time. Yeah, yeah. so that's what I'm saying. Okay. That's what that's the first like thing I thought neck. of. Oof. Like around, like over the top of the head, around the jaw area. Because I could last... For the audio list, no. Yeah. For, yeah. for what Dustin said as the second option is around the head, um, not around the neck, I guess. Correct. And Maybe so... Because that changes everything, man. It always does. <laughs> it do everything. Yeah, it totally does. I, dude, a couple, maybe 15 minutes, if I just put a dog cone on, I'd be like, get yeah. this fucking thing off me. I'm not, no, fuck this. It's not funny anymore. <laughs> get it off of me. I'm not <laughs> tired of it. Time. The bit is done. This bit is I'm way over, dude. Yeah, We're I'm way tired over. of it. Yeah, <laughs> get it off me. <laughs> but if it just came up like it would be on a dog, you know, going out, from my face, not yeah. up. It, I could but, last a, a, a few days, probably. Like, I yeah, I, I'd say but a that few would days. probably if if that happened. If ice could last a few days with it the other way, <laughs> he could probably last a few fucking years. <laughs> yeah. Well, with <laughs> no, 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 style. not 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 with oh, with that. Yeah, I was yeah. talking about. I yeah. if I wasn't able to use my hands either, like you wouldn't be able to like scratch. Obviously, because that's what the cone is oh, for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. If oh, I, yeah. if I'm not able to do that, maybe maybe fifteen thirty minutes, like you were saying. Oh dude, yeah, yeah. No, I, if I couldn't scratch and I got an itch within the first thirty seconds, get the me, the I'm, first I'm done. I'm the done. first nose itch. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> the nose, the Take first it off. slightest <laughs> thing that makes me itch. Oh, no, get it off. Okay. I don't care how long it's been. Yeah, like, no, we not thinking. scratch an itch. Now I feel itchy, man. My eyebrows itch. <laughs> my ear is itching. My I think I see man. something on your neck right there, crawling around. Shut the fuck up, dude. Now my. <laughs> I I would agree. Uh, uh yeah, I, I would not be able. If I got one itch, I'd be like ripping that thing off. If I couldn't, or if I could use my hands, I feel like that, that kind of defeats the purpose of the cone, though, because then it's just. Yeah, right there, and it just like blocks your field of view. That's the only thing that it's doing. I think yeah. 
in that case at least with also, with hers yeah. with hers it was a clear cone so like she could still see like around it a little bit it wasn't okay. like a like a solid color cone okay yeah i would say maybe a couple days a few days mm. i i would be maxing out well, at like four probably she she lasted two eight hour days whenever we were at work and then we said no that's enough we're not putting you through that so we empathize with dogs everywhere who have to put on cones. We're a dog empathizing podcast here. We do. There are people that have to wear cones. You never know. Yeah, hey, there, there might true, be true. If you're out there and you've had to wear a cone. Oh my gosh. gosh, that's just like the people who back in you know decades ago who had to wear the the iron lungs to help survive. Oh, it's a big yeah. contraption oh. that they lay in and it just comes up to your neck. Isn't <laughs> it because if you have oh. eczema or something? Oh, I I don't it? know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Jamie, Google that. Yeah. Iron lung disease, probably. Craig. No, our our uh, our assistant is going to be Craig. I don't care Craig. If, if we ever get an assistant. Yeah, because of the Discord uh, recording. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be Craig. Craig. <laughs> yeah, Craig. But, uh, but yeah, other than that, the weekend was good. We went to the Cardinal game on Friday. They got nice. absolutely trashed, smacked. Gobsmacked. I thought it was, you were was it like nineteen to six or something like that. Nineteen to two. Oh god, that is Whoa. so. And we we so we that's scored. Why you guys were saying that in the chat in the text. What? Oh chat. yeah, yeah, yeah. That it was. Oh yeah, Jack was there. Um, he was actually sitting not too far away from me, like up a level they and a quick pick of you behind me. Yeah, I'd like a perfect creeper pick. I mean, that thing was super clear. I know. Um, they. We I think we scored in like the third inning when it was seven to two was the closest that it ever was. Wow. After we had scored and it was just terrible. That's kind of fun though. It's at least you're like, man, at one point you gotta say like, All right. <laughs> this is just how it's gonna be. <laughs> Listen, All right. I, so I went into the game. Relax. Yeah. yeah. It made it better that the Cardinals weren't playing for anything. Like if they would have been in a tight playoff race and yeah that happened i would have been furious not having a good time yeah did was that the first game that wayno came in to pinch hit yes it was it was a three game home yeah stand. yeah 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 i thought i remember seeing that so that i'm sure that was kind of cool it was everybody. cool yeah everyone stood up i was coming back from getting a beer so i was i was holding two beers i was like yes let's go <laughs> stone cold austin draft beers just yeah. everywhere. Oh, <laughs> that's man. honestly what I thought when you said they got trashed. I was like, oh, they oh. Just fucking got I know, that's hammered. I, was, yeah. I mean, they played like they it. They kind of played, they really it, played yeah. like they were three sheets of the wind. Dude, the freaking punch, dude. That when was, was my last joke. time. Sorry. You guys got trashed. I think I was at, probably at a at a sporting event the last time cuz I don't I can't do that shit anymore, man. Like really trashed. No desire. Really trashed. And like woke up like hungover as hell, throwing up, so like hungover, Fuck like up. trash. Um, uh, the last time for me was probably the uh, summer floating trip that we had, but before oh, that, it had to have been like the. Well, I'm. I don't know. I think so. Did you yeah. get that drunk? I didn't realize you were. Um, I I hold it in really well, and I had a drunk wife to take care of, so. <laughs> I hold it, dude. In really when you well. have when you have that responsibility, yeah, your hangover is not a priority, and you just have to just basically swallow it. Not the, literally. But... The only the only problem with trying to get trashed at sports games is obviously you have to do it beforehand because alcohol is just so expensive there, so right? Expensive. Yeah, we. Yeah. I mean, we talked about it last week. With the the forty dollars for two beers and a water, like that's just mm. ridiculous. Yeah, that's but it's crazy. Anyways, yeah, too damn high, dude. Yeah. Speaking of sporting Rant events, too damn high. You're not. You don't know. I don't know why <laughs> I said don't. that. I'm running on fumes right now. I really am. He's running on a twelve hour day at this point. I don't know uh, how. He just wants to. Get being in these clothes, I'm literally wearing khakis right now. Nice. Hell yeah. Athletic trainer to Gosh the max, darn. Dude. Gosh <laughs> darn. Gosh yeah, darn. Both that's a le- athletic trainer. Pretty sure so I had I had athletic training athletic ath- Oh my god. I had athletic <laughs> training scissors in my back pocket 
for 11 hours a day i'm pretty sure there's an imprint on my butt of just the outline of these of these scissors yeah yeah nice yeah so like did they throw up any cool things at the like you know how they play games at uh the sporting events like up on the big screen did they play any cool fun things like because the blues have been doing crazy stuff where like they do the lookalikes and they're doing it on the fly, which I've always been impressed with. Yeah. Like now they, they, they didn't do so quick. they didn't do any lookalikes, but they did like the regular like find the ball in the hat thing. Yeah. Where you have three hats. And then they did the they did the muscle cam where everyone would show off the, their muscles. And I did it, but they didn't actually I don't think they saw me. Well honestly. they didn't want to get in, they didn't want to embarrass anybody. You know. Right. If they throw yeah. you up, people are gonna be like, Fuck man, I've been working for years for that physique and still don't Yeah, dude. Like just check like, this one out. out. Yeah, dude. See? <laughs> Super big, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <That was> really... <laughs> it Off nasty. camera muscles, you don't know how big it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you know how <laughs> how crazy it would be speaking of of that, I know we had talked about it in our group chat. Throwing up like what a your stream onto the big screen during intermission of like a Cardinals game, like in Dude, between innings, that would be that, so. I mean, that would be perfect, especially like just think about it. Nowadays, everybody's got the shortest attention span ever, so it's like yeah. everybody's looking at their phones, watching TikTok or something in between innings. Dude, all so what if they just take... randomly? Dude, that's an incredible Good. idea. All it's going to take is that one social media director that is your guys's age now to get yeah. to that level and be like fuck it let's do it see how it goes for a you know a, a timeout a tv timeout i mean <clears throat> right and throw it up on the board and then people are going like to love it because it's, it's going to be yeah. our age people that are going to be older and then our kids are obviously going to be into that shit yeah dude that would be so sick i, I would go crazy yeah. If I just saw just a random Dude, stream, just like, like oh even my like a... god, hell yeah, that's <laughs> sick. Well, actually, <laughs> there would have to be a delay, or it could be a recorded. You know, it doesn't have to be necessarily. Real I mean, yeah, because of no, like I was no. just thinking of the legality reasons. Like, if if they find out they're on uh, being broadcast, because they're going to get text probably, people would look them up, and oh, they get yeah, yeah. going to be like, and then you can do all kinds of shit like people will well e- dick, even just like you know? doing it and then you got fucking families <laughs> big ass yeah. dick on oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> on the oh. mega screen oh jesus yeah yeah that would be bad um <laughs> but that would be no, but... sick but live like live sorry that like, i mean schedule. live you, you could like do recordings of it even just like a like clip that, yeah, like yeah. a longer i mean clip, you could have you could have a, a five second delay 17 second delay and you can click out of yeah. it 17 so it, seconds is crazy five yeah seconds well that's five seconds to 17 seconds <laughs> well I know, is that how I long think, a media timeout is <laughs> no i think it, it. i think I, i'm pretty sure it's 17 second delay from live to being broadcast on television i think that's the delay. oh yeah. okay that's why i said 17 you could have a 37 delay. second delay and be just fine i'm just <laughs> yeah. i mean I've you tried it before, honestly trust me. on the on you want to know how many twitch five accounts delay. i've had <laughs> You could have an eight Just minute testing delay. that out, dude. Yeah, uh, for real. <laughs> oh man, that would be so cool. Or even like not, not just like during intermission, but having, um, like having Twitch or like e gaming sporting events being broadcast into like a big stadium, like yeah, Bush dude. Stadium, or like That's where the Blues play Enterprise Center on the Jumbotron. That would go nutty dude everyone would love that i would that would be an insane atmosphere they've basically it's already like done this before atmosphere. because how many times have you seen guys play like uh smash bros or some mario game on the jumbotron like some of the players they'll sit behind home plate or whatever and yeah they'll hook up a system like they've already done it they just need to take this into like an actual live event and yeah, have a Twitch stream or whatever. Have ten thousand people in the stands going crazy whenever, like, going say it's Rocket running. League, and someone yeah, someone dude. hits a double flip it's... reset, musty into the top corner ninety. Yeah, you dude. know, give a fuck. Art down, <laughs> crazy. Yeah, for real. I mean, that would be <laughs> it'd be insane. That'd be it'd be awesome. like a, I mean, it'd be like a live event, like a live any live sporting event when something exciting happens. Yeah. 
Yeah. But probably Definitely. even more so because nerds are really into shit. Oh, they <laughs> yeah, would go it, crazy. It's, and it's, the best part, not just nerds, everybody just else like, would be like, what too. the fuck is going on? Like, yeah. like yeah. all the older people are just like, what are they looking at? They don't even notice it's up on the big screen yet. Yeah. Oh, well, that's what it is. Like, strictly having a an event <clears throat> broadcast. That's what I, like yeah, that's what I oh, Like, gosh. it's the Rocket League finals, and it's not necessarily being played there. But like, let's say, like, last year, like, Bush Stadium could perch, have the stream also going on, and they could sell tickets to, like, that yeah. live event. That would... I'm following now. I'm yeah. Tracking. Yeah. Woody, I had an eleven-hour day, and I'm with it right now. Get right. your shit together. Yeah, stop, bro. Okay. okay, quit the fucking vault or whatever. Not the vault, the sphere in Las Vegas, because you could Dude. have so many different. Oh, <laughs> yo, I almost got goosebumps <laughs> thinking about watching Rocket League in there, and it's just like 360, dude. Oh, that oh, would be a, you fucking throw up. <laughs> 360. <laughs> this is, this podcast is all about throwing up. It's all going back. To yeah, throwing this up. is the vomit hour. Welcome back to the vomit hour. Yeah, vomit hour. Dude, that'd be crazy. Were... Imagine being like a like in COD or something, watching COD like first person shooter, like you're turn it around that quick that'd be good oh my gosh well i don't even yeah. i don't mean taking up the whole thing i meant you could have it like the whoever yeah. had the concert there you know i was yeah. like the desert stretching behind them you could have so many mm -hmm. fucking monitors and different screens and shit set up like that you know what i mean that would yeah. be just cool. having different yeah. video feeds if you guys were yeah. well never mind it didn't sync whenever i did that voice i was gonna ask you guys if you were a Really? No, it would definitely would sank you, there, buddy. Would you, yeah. Would you keep If I was a what? Own, if you were like a radio host, like a radio DJ, would you keep your normal voice or would you try to throw it to have a radio voice, you know? Because some people do that. Oh. I think I'd have I, a, I try and do a radio voice. I'm not going to try and do it right now, but I no, try and do it. it. Welcome yeah, back to 93 point. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to 93.9. The oh, Rock. No, yeah. your no, your regular voice is better. Yeah. yeah. Let's hear no, yours. I would. I thought you were gonna say. Oh, oh go ahead. Yeah, we gotta hear Ices. Okay. Oh God, I'm ner I'm nervous now. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it because we just talked about this being the the pukey podcast. Yeah. Welcome back to RCLS in Bush Stadium. We've got Team Optic going against Team VTO, and they are going crazy. They are going crazy. <laughs> Welcome back. I, I don't even think that's a radio. That's a broadcaster voice. Like, so, well, I think yeah, I guess. Different. Yeah, I guess those are two different things. I, I would yeah, want to be like idiot. a late, late night DJ where you could just like. I've always been told I've have a, I have a face for radio. So. <laughs> Hell yeah, got him. <laughs> Hell yeah, got him. Nice. Oh Hell man. Yeah, uh yeah, no. ooh. what would your okay have you ever thought about what your like uh radio name would be because you always you know oh, it's like yeah. usually your first name and then like a a fake cry last name morning. oh yeah. that's a good jeremy point. shane jeremy yeah, shane we know i we know jeremy Donnie shane. fandango that's yeah. his real last name yeah moon valerian moon valjean Valerian. Valerian. <laughs> Boon Vaporeon. <laughs> that Those awesome. who know, know. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, I have not ever. I would... Dusty... Dusty Snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty? <laughs> Dusty Snakes. It's like... <laughs> snakes. Dude, that would that would be great though because if you're like the morning show host, you say uh, you know, it goes through the whole intro and it says Dusty Snakes and you just hear like a rattlesnake yeah, thing in the yeah. desert going on, dude. That would be awesome. <laughs> Dusty snakes. Dusty snakes. Oh god, Hell that's yeah. great. <laughs> Dusty snakes. What about you, Woody? Oh, dude, I I don't even know, man. Um. Would you use your real name or would you go with Woody? I, I think I I think I go by Andy something. Yeah. Andy. I think I do. Yeah. Andy Pandy. Andy Pandy. Oh, Depends no. on what type oh, of DJ. Yeah. You are. 
if yeah, you were like yeah, a like a appealing to Gen Z top forty or something. Yeah, you would be Andy Pandy. Maybe. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Nikki. Nikki Wiki. I don't know. I, th- I think I'd play off the cool. same thing. I'd go. I'd go Nikki something, but uh, maybe just like Nikki and then a last initial, like Nikki P or Nikki J. Oh, okay. Or something like that. Nikki I could get behind that. I do have people calling me Nikki J at work. Oh, because but also because your middle name. Yeah, if they know my no- middle name, they call Nikki me Nikki J. J. Most the people at work call me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. No, because that'd Jeremiah, be so... Is that what it is? <laughs> no, most people call me Nikki Poo at work. Uh, I did not pick that for myself, and I try not to uh, let them do it, but it, it just become a thing. Some doctors even call me Nikki Poo in the office, too. Ooh. <laughs> I like that. No. <laughs> no. I'd get ex- they couldn't call me Nikki Poo. I would get too Hello. excited about that. Too, well, too which is weird because your name's Dusty, right. Dustin. That's why get me. like, Ooh, okay, we're doing a little, a little cosplay, a role play, not cosplay. Yeah, cosplay. Hey, cosplay. Hey, cosplaying as I Nick. Know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's honestly my next step going into um, diving deeper into being like a a nerd. Is I think I'm gonna have to do like a cosplay, cosplay. at some point, dude. I would. Hell do- yeah. So I'm making Bennett's Halloween costume this year, and he wants to be Cyan from Rainbow Friends. I actually ran into old. I gotta look this silky, up now. Silky smooth Kimbry. Uh, oh. Fabric for it. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Talk about this? what's a what's win the guy's name? Win. Oh, Cyan, Cyan from Rainbow Cyan Friends. From Rainbow Friends. He's a monster. Oh. Yeah. So I'm make looks kind. Looks kind of cool. Yeah. And, Ooh. Uh, that would be cool. Yeah, there's a lot of dude, a six year old, the shit, and he's on. He's a YouTube six year old dude. He knows more, more about YouTube probably than I do. Um, Let me see if I can. But he's into like I don't think a lot of his other friends are, but he's into the, uh, yeah. J- just so you know, Ice, uh, you're you're broadcasting your screen. I know. So, I was I was trying okay. to. Okay. I just giving our viewers know. something to something to yeah. go about. Yeah. Um oh thank you. That was very thoughtful of you. If you can pull that off, that's gonna be pretty fucking sick. I know, and that's what I was like I, I uh same with you, like cosplay. I think it'd be so badass to eventually like, be able to build like a like a legit cool looking um like stormtrooper uniform or something like that, dude. That'd be so fucking cool. That's something like dude, oh, yeah, that would be cool, dude. Badass. That would be so sick. I mean, because some of them on Reddit I, I kind of, see are fucking incredible. They're something. awesome, and people start like they started it. What today's October second? Um, they probably started it a month or two ago. Like the people that go hardcore and they spend like hundreds or even thousands of dollars on costumes, but yeah, it's dude. all. How did I say it? Costumes. Uh, costumes. <laughs> costumes. <laughs> costumes. 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 Really for Halloween. About it? Costumes. They use good perfumes. <laughs> perfumes and costumes. costumes. But like, it's it's pretty impressive what people can do with these things. Like, like it would be so badass to do like Ezio from Assassin's Creed or something. Like that would be cool. Robe setup or like. I don't know, like that beach bum from Fortnite that Nick is always playing as. Like, oh yeah, that'd be kind of late. Oh, the, the lifeguard. Height. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude, yeah dude. Speaking of man, I don't think I have a good enough butt like for that. Oh, I'm so. I was actually thinking about buddy. Fortnite the other night. We should play Were you? again sometime. Yeah, I was. Oh man, I <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't have enough time for it though. Like with all the other stuff I'm doing, I don't have enough time to get back into another game. I'm already into like back into Minecraft again. Yeah. So yeah, like I can't. Going to Minecraft. I need to get back into Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Me and me and tonight, Dusty are later tonight. building a, a sick. house. It's gonna be sick, dude. Yeah. I want to talk we, about dude, we need to well. start. Yeah, we need to start streaming um, again, I or I yeah. need to. 
and and start I have kind of weaving it into the podcast too. I guess not weaving yeah. it, but like referring back and forth so people can get different yeah, content from us. I guess we're trying to build a uh, brand. Yeah, build a brand. I was gonna say build an empire, but I was thinking of something very, very much smaller than that. <laughs> we're trying to build, build an a empire village. on a super small scale, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the... Like the smallest scale you can get. <laughs> If I could How get an empire. empire, I just want to get my money back at this point out of the pot. That's an yeah. it. It's a success. True. <laughs> True. Anyways, I don't even remember what the fuck we were, you talking, said, we're, we're, we're talking about. You uh, missed Minecraft. Fortnite, man. Oh, yeah. Fortnite, oh, yeah, Minecraft. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, Nick, that brings up a good point. We talked about Fortnite. We need a, a Baldur's Gate update of oh, what you've been right. doing, what you've been. Mm -hmm. Because right, you've been, when we first I talked to you about it, since uh, we talked about it on here, <clears throat> yeah. And I think since then, you you just started your own game, correct? That last time that we talked about it, yeah, and yeah. We which we started I started another one with Kimberly, yes, and another one with Kimberly and another friend. So yes, yes, I have wow. three of them going on right now. Yeah, that's why I haven't. I don't really have any updates. I well, kind of. I've started three. That's the update. And I haven't gotten through any three of them because anytime we start playing, so like the one I'm farthest in is with me and Kendall. That's the first time one that we did, and uh, I'm a ranger in that one. I'm not going to tell you the name for legality reasons because I don't know what the uh, <laughs> what we can legally talk about on air. Um, I, fuck it, it's I Luv Furies, <laughs> and he's a wood elf ranger. Oh. That fits. Who Wait, may say or it again? Say it I again. I Louvre Furies. <laughs> I Louvre Furies. <laughs> who may or may not have a have a shadowy past with some woodland animals. Oh, <laughs> oh my you, god. Man. Oh. And so to even be in character, good. all of the spells that this ranger knows are animal based. I have speak with animals, I have conjure animals. Oh, yeah. Hell um, yeah, all in on this And one. then, and then my second one, just my my solo campaign, which I haven't even played, but maybe one single like in real life day. Um, it's a dwarf monk, and his name is Graith, like G R A E T H. Graith Pissmane, because <laughs> his hair is it's a long. He has long tattered hair. It's white that goes into like a gold uriny color. At the very end, so nice. great piss main. <laughs> and then my my third one that I started with Kindle and another friend. Um, I'm a gith in there. It's a gith yonki, which you guys don't know what that is, but it's no. kind of like a like a lizard type person. Is if you want to think of it that way, a gith a, a gith donk, gith, gith yonki, gith donkey, <laughs> gith yonki, gith yonki, a yeah, goth donkey, like a donkey. <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 gith yonki. Um, it's more like a honky. Like a uh, lot yeah. Lizard honky. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a lot, <laughs> a lot <laughs> like a lot lizard. Um, this is what a Gith Yonki oh. looks like. Let me let me show you. So that is what a Gith Yonki looks like. He's it's uh, it's so like a lizard from outer space. That is bad. Yeah, I have That's the I have the same. I, I actually have the same is. hairstyle as that big one. Big one. The same same like poofed up hairstyle, but it's all um, red and white streaks. So it looks pinkish, and I have bright there, red lipstick. Is there like, like, cross uh, races? I guess like where you can uh, into. I'm just thinking what a, a there's a dwarf and that thing. What it was like because you. Oh yeah, I was like no, it, two. I'm, I mean, I think in in D and D there probably is a race. There's a lot of races. Like there's you have like half elves, you have half orcs. I think those are the only two in Baldur's Gate where you have half elves and half orcs, which are humans mixed up with uh, with the elf or the orc. But there's also ones where you have an orc and a and an elf in the actual D and D universe. And I don't know what the name of that one is. Um, I'm sure there's all of them. I'd, I'm not very well versed in in that. I kind of I like to trace, stay true to the bloodlines. You know. Sa okay, sure. that just what I'm about to say. That just <laughs> ran it into the fucking like. Yeah, that's true. D and D sounds like it was created as a way to be racist without being racist to people, like half elves, 
half horse. No, I like to keep no. the bloodlines pure. <laughs> it's pure. Yeah, it's <laughs> perfect. I don't want any of that honky stuff. Okay, in there. so I don't want any dwarf. Yeah, in here. yeah. So speaking of, in my first playthrough at like in an actual D and D game, we played a starter campaign, and Kendall was actually the D the DM for that one. And I played as Ilu Furies. Same thing. It's a wood elf, but he's a full wood elf. And we had a character who was a half. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. We, bro. Damn. We, we had a we had a friend who played a half elf, and just as a bit, I was like passive aggressive, um, low key, like re- prejudiced. I guess you could say against her half elf form. So anytime she talked about being an elf, I was like, oh, well, only a half elf. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's oh, well, a, a real that elf. A, that's that's a friendly way of being racist. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. Like, yeah. We all had fun. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's <laughs> daytime racism right here. Um, yeah. But Baldur's Gate, I, I've gotten into Act 3, which you have Act 1, 2, and 3. And Act 3 is longer, I think, than both Act 1 and 2 combined. And I just got into Act 3. So I'm not even close to the end of the game yet. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, dude. But so, we're chugging along, man. Oh yeah, I'd uh, love to get into it. We we've been talking about uh, getting into D and D. Me and Stinky. Yeah, you should. Or, or well, hopefully, oh, that would be fun. Hopefully, to, uh, us three and Bennett. I'm hoping to introduce yeah. him to it. That I think that would yeah. be so fun, dude. Mm-hmm. I, well, so once I had we a dentist appointment this morning, so or not this morning, this afternoon, and she got me good and like. <laughs> I think oh, yeah, it's been like in inflamed here. and I just realized I've been like fucking with it with my tongue oh, <laughs> the whole episode. I love weird, when so. people's gums are inflamed. Mm-hmm. That's Hell the yeah. best. Should that would be inflamed easy. gums. Sorry, I didn't know. Oh, that, 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 that'd be a good uh, stream. Like we could do a short, not not with Bennett, but once we get into it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah. like if we're home for a weekend. That'd yeah. be a fun, like, in-person stream. To Hell do. yeah, dude. We gotta do that. That would we, be we gotta... fun. Yo, Craig, write that down. Write that yeah. idea down real quick. Yo, Craig. Jot hey, that yo, down, Craig. Bud. Hey, write this and down. While you're at it, I need another drink. Yeah. Come on. Um, bro, I feel like you're going pro in in Baldur's Gate, man. You got, what, you said three separate fucking <laughs> worlds? Three that I haven't finished. Yeah. Continuously going. Super pro in that. <laughs> what, what game do you think you could go pro in given enough time? Civ Six and resources. Civ That's a good one for you, Dusty. I fucking school. Yeah. Justin, every fucking time. I can't wait to get off of here in school. And okay, well, that's not that big of a yeah. A- anyone can beat Justin in Civ Six <laughs> as long as you don't try and go up oh, against him ow. with military strength. And even then, you could probably still beat him. But yeah. I could I definitely see videos, you getting though. into Civ Six. Oh yeah, dude. No. I see if don't, don't so... you watch videos too? I did. Uh, videos? I have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've read getting into it. it. I brought up their well, fucking wiki and shit, and I was like reading about each. Yeah, dude. I haven't. I, granted, that it's been a while because I mean that's been a few years since I was really, or like what maybe last year, two years ago, I was really getting into it again, yeah. again, and <clears throat> I fucking love that game. I should stream. Dude, me and Justin, I should stream me and Justin's games. Cause should, they're, yeah, they're, they're quick, aren't funny. they? You do, you super fast ones, so where you oh, dude, we basically do, get but there's done. still several hours. I didn't oh, yeah, even like, think yeah. about there being a competitive league for Civ Six. I think there is. There's people. Who I'm sure. Play. I'm sure there's tournaments and everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure. That'd be sick. That'd be cool. That'd be fun to, no, I could. Oh, I never. I could 100 percent see you want to get into, get into that. You I'm should. Really you you're really good at it. Like I always get pissed off when we play Civ Six. Like especially if there's like three or four of us, because every single time I'll be like first, maybe in one category, and then every other category, Dustin is first in, and he's like second yeah. in the category, yeah, right? <laughs> first in, or something like that. Like he's always yeah. so much better than me, and like I'm trying to juggle so many things, so I don't even realize how you keep up with it. It's yeah. crazy. There's so much shit going well, that's on. That's what. Arms and you know, yeah, army and you Caesarean Cesar- of yeah. like city states, like all this shit's going on, and you got to figure out how to juggle it. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, me, and meanwhile, you have Justin, Justin's Justin over just here. Like, ding, 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 
ding, ding, on the fucking next turn once he's done. He's like, how do you always take your full turn? I'm like, dude, there's, I've got so much going on. <laughs> I'm pulling my fucking hair out with how much I got going on. I would, if I could pay someone in, come in here and help me out, I would. <laughs> the citizens in Rome right now are about to yeah. revolt. And I don't know how to. Fucking I need fix more men right of these, and I'm. I just made a fucking deal for one of my luxury re resource with Queen Victoria because she's a fucking bitch and won't shut up. She's always like, Keep on, you whining and shit. You're over here Jaws needs dinging the best me. Everything. Ding ding ding. I'm about ding. to lose my goddamn mind. <laughs> you're you're just over like. Here. You're just like Charlie from Simulator, smashing the shit out of it. Yeah, <laughs> boom, punching my screen. X, 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 X. You're just like um, Charlie from um, from Always Sunny. Whenever he works in the mail room and he's trying oh, to figure yeah. out all that Pepe stuff. Silva. <laughs> Pepe Sylvia, yeah. Pepe Sylvia. Who's Pepe Sylvia? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's such a oh, good, good. a good show. Dude, I, it doesn't get the credit it deserves, in my opinion. I don't think. I think it should have won multiple uh, Emmys by now. I was almost said Grammys, and then I red flag went up. I was like, "Don't fucking say it, idiot." Um, yeah, I would have judged you hardcore. <laughs> but dude, dude, some of the scenes are like one in particular. I think it's from season one or two. Uh, I think. But anyways. Dennis and D are in a spin class and they're talking and being loud because they don't agree with with what the instructor is saying to do. And then they he tells them to leave and they start arguing, like talking to each other and then all the way walking out of the spin cycle class to their vehicle, getting a tape, walking all the way back in. And that's what they were talking about. Originally, the original argument was about a song, their song choice, and they come back in, and it's just so seamless and smooth and not a second of dead air. And it was just like this probably three or four minute long conversation. And I was like, oh, this is so good. These guys are so good at writing for comedy, and it's not getting the credit it deserves, I think. In my opinion, yeah, no, it, I it's agree. a very good show. All of it, but thank it you for attending my TED talk super. about <laughs> always sunny. <Cool. laughs> In this TED talk, I will yeah. Sorry, describe I the intricacies really... of Exhibit A. In yeah. this one episode in season six, episode thirteen, dude. This and okay, I'm about to get into a couple more, but that's, are you talking to ask Holly? I like went off on always sunny like talk about all these different things i love about it and she's just like cool, okay, cool. <laughs> cool buddy i'm glad you're happy <laughs> you just yeah, gotta I'm keep go doing it you stay over here keep talking but i'm gonna go over here and do something. <laughs> you just gotta keep doing it though because that's what i would do with all my anime shows i talk about how yeah. cool they are and eventually okay, now so Haley's watching it. anime with me yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so i've cried so during watching an episode of like cried, cried watching episodes of Always Sunny. Dude, laughed my ass off, got pissed off, got pissed on, but that was my fault. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, well, yeah, that's that's good, Dustin. I mean, we can that's keep good. talking. We can keep going. <laughs> I no, 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 no. I don't know. No, well, I'll go. I'll uh, so I think I would go. Dustin was Civ Six, and I I agree in that. Oh, that's what we were I, talking about. Yeah, yeah, I just, yeah. I just, yeah. The tangent just went into it's, it's all. Hell stuff. yeah! Oh, that's almost like uh oh what what was the from a couple bad, podcast episodes ago? Whenever you would get on your your ranting mode oh, with Dusty, yeah. <laughs> your ranting tangent with Dusty, but this time it was a good ranting. Yep. Uh, good. Okay, sorry. Who's next? <laughs> I, you know what? I really would like to say Rocket League if I had enough time and effort uh, or resources, but I really think it would probably be um, like one of those strategy games, not Civ Six, because for some reason I can't get into Civ Six, Civ Six as much as um, everyone else. But Is it probably one of those Pro strategy Total games. War to uh, mod edition with. Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's actually, era, it's actually medieval two mod 
the third age sub mod divide and conquer lord of the rings enhanced edition <laughs> wait Jesus i lost Christ. dude you lost me i you lost me at lord of the rings. i think you said dude i always play what do you mean uh, I, I could see uh, you doing that though I'd really want to do Rocket League. It'd be so fun to to be a pro at Rocket League. That's still, just to be good at Rocket League, right? To be that pro level good at Rocket League. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I can, which is crazy because it still will blow. I mean, we've talked about this. It took you. We had to convince you to play Rocket League. Are you still playing on mouse and keyboard? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's even makes it. If you switched, well, maybe not now because you're so used to mouse and keyboard. I was gonna say I think you could get you'd be so much better. You could be you're you're good already. I've, I think I've thought you, about it. Yeah. If you yeah, switch to controller and got used to the, just the controls. For all you Rocket League nerds out there listening to this, I'm currently um, Plat One Division Two. I got there a couple nights ago on oh, Mouse yeah, Board. Brother. Nice. You can yeah, hate on me if you good. want, but. I honestly don't care about your opinion. Your just opinion do it. Do it in the comments yeah, so that true. we can boost our numbers. Just go do it in the right. comments. Do hey, it on ice. ice. Yeah. Tell me in, in the, the comments, comments how shitty ice is. <laughs> yeah. Roast me in the comments. I'm flat one D two. I was gold, whatever uh, highest gold division. Whenever I started off with the ranking for this season, so I'm leveling up. Hell yeah, that's respectable. What do you? What about you? Dude, I would love. I I've always been a first person shooter game. Yep. Um, but I wouldn't yep. want to do Call of Duty. I think I'd want to go Apex. Apex is so fun. Oh, it's got dude. like a different. Yeah, man. Just like a little bit of different feeling than a regular yeah. first person because you got your like abilities and stuff. And I had so Just, much fucking yeah. fun playing. And it's so yeah. hard. We were in it for like six months. And every time that you would get like crazy damage or a lot of kills or like win a game, we would flip shit. And like a lot we would of go kills crazy. is like six or seven kills. Yeah, you're all, you're going into yeah. a lobby with sixty people instead of a hundred or hundred and fifty. You're not Which, dropping yeah twenty and bombs. And I mean, not, if you're dropping they don't twenty come bombs back as off like as easily right because they can't be bought back. You can be respawned what one time. Or can you be respawn multiple times? I can't remember. I think it's changed now. I think you have uh, uh, mobile yeah. spawn things that you can oh, pick yeah, up. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I've only yeah, oh, yeah. I haven't, clearly haven't played in a minute. It's been a while since we played. Yeah. I I would agree. You're definitely first person shooter, and I think I don't think you have the um, you know to be a little bit critical here. I don't think you have the technical <laughs> skills to be good at Fortnite, but maybe with oh, enough resources no. you would be. But that's that's more for like with that's the. Younger younger kids which yeah. is crazy yeah. that gamers like that for fortnite and stuff consider you old if you're like 20 21 because it's like oh, oh yeah you're aging out of the speed required yeah which is why that's kind of like that that's kind of like rocket league too i've heard someone talk about how 2021 20, 22 is really pushing it for being old in rocket league pro scene yeah which is crazy jesus but i could definitely see you being an apex pro for sure well, yeah. because those kids, I guess, because you're not at, you, you fall off of puberty, so you don't have all that pent up aggression and energy going. So then you're well, just like you mellow and, out a little bit. Like for me, true. Fortnite came in came out when I was in my late twenties. Like you guys, even with Fortnite, I mean, I know you guys weren't ever like elite level, but way better because you well for one played it longer and more, but. You more mm -hmm. grew up with it. Like, that's what, like, if you're aging, like, because Rocket League's been out, what, 10 years almost now? Yeah. Like, those guys that are are 20 years old started out playing these games, not playing, you know, fucking Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know what I mean? So they're like used Kong. to, like, they have, that's what, like, <laughs> we could master Super, like, we could play Super Smash Brothers right now and, like, or Super Mario and like do incredible, like way better right. than like True. a kid who's amazing at even whatever at Rocket League or something because True. that's what we yeah. grew up and that's what we mastered, we learned on. So that's just speaking of sense. speaking of getting it out of um, out of your puberty stage and not having all that pent up aggression. I realize I'm. Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm out of that stage, right? Like I'm mature enough. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> But if, okay, listen. I mean, if we don't I go lost, by maturity, maybe looks. Yeah, you look. I lost hard, but... my hardcore world in Minecraft this weekend. 
come to his knees. Come I had knees. the perfect location to build my perfect base. I just defeated the end dragon, just got my first set of elytra, which are the wings, and I died in the void, and I can't get any of it back. And all I did was I I literally th- this is a this is a replay. I did it, died. This is the start of the scene. Shit. Oh, okay. I can feel <laughs> it. In Finn. Oh man, Shit. I can feel it. It's making me like my like lightheaded almost, like my stomach. I feel so anxious. Yeah. What's <laughs> What's worse is I was fast enough to pause the game before I actually died in the void. I sat there for a good five minutes oh, with man. seeing Not my health, it. seeing my health like oh. one and a half hearts, and I was like. Oh. A millisecond after I resume this game, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna lose all my progress. I'm gonna have to start over. And I sat there for a good five minutes. Just I think I got on my phone and started watching TikToks because I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I'm not accepting this. You should have left it there. You should have saved the game and never like actually. Yeah, I should. Dude, should I did that. Well, I did something like that once. It wasn't on a hardcore game, but it was on a a game I've been doing for a while and. I saved it and then got blown up or hit by a a uh, uh, arrow from a skeleton off of a cliff. So like when I come back, every time I load back in, I immediately get hit with an arrow and fall to my death and see all my <laughs> shit. And then I reload the game and immediately get hit. Oh and my death and see man! All my shit just land there. So there's no way I can get that world back unless I like just. I didn't have because it was on my Xbox and didn't have. I don't think I had the or the uh, coordinates or whatever. I don't oh, know. There's yeah. some reason I couldn't get my shit back. Maybe I fell into lava. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. I don't remember. But I, for some reason, I was like, "Well, this is ruined because I can't get any of my shit back. I'm so far along. I don't want to restart this fucking game because I was far away from spawn yeah. point and everything. I was like, it's just like the I would I sat there too and like reloaded a few times like maybe I can dodge the arrow at the last yeah like every fucking time boom right off the cliff right off the cliff right yeah. Off the cliff. yeah when you texted that I audibly went fuck that oh sucks. that is hardcore like, yeah dude yeah. I was like, I, so you've been I've been a minute uh, haven't you months dude I've been, I've had that hardcore world for months Damn. yeah yeah. yeah. Pour one out for the hardcore world. That's why. That's why gaming brought us together. We laugh. We cry. We piss. We fart. Yeah. And we throw up. Yeah. We throw up. All right. Um, well, on that note, should we should we hop into some Minecraft tonight? Maybe play yeah, a little brother. bit. Maybe. Of Minecraft? Maybe I have to go eat because I haven't eaten since lunch today. Oh yeah, and it's eight o'clock, yeah. and you haven't. Yeah, get off of here. I haven't went. I haven't spoken to my wife. I haven't seen her since oh, uh, go six o'clock this morning. Her ass and give her a kiss. Yeah. Uh, uh, real sick. quick. Yeah, I say it out loud. It seems sick. before it's before we get we'll off. Bleep that out. We'll bleep that out. <laughs> before we get off, gaming recommendation of the week. Stinky. Uh, go. Uh, uh, let's just continue to go with Civ Six because I'm obsessed with that game, and I want to play it all the time. Okay, Woody. Yeah. Go your recommendation uh, of the week. Clash of Clans. I uh, hopped back into it. Oh, uh, I'm not like either. I'm not obsessed with it right now, but I hopped back in. I kind of got the bug. So Clash yeah, of dude. Clans. Yeah, nice. Um, I am gonna go Mountain Blade Banner Lord Two, which is another strategy game. Kind of um, look it up if you want to. If you don't, I don't give a fuck. It's very fun. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm hungry. I want to. I'm hungry. Life. Peace. My wife's making oh. some chimkin. Champ, give us five stars. Uh, you know, follow us on share, social media, share everything rate, that you can, comment, rate like, us. please download, yeah. follow, please. Please, I don't like looking at the analytics <laughs> currently. <laughs> and we will be back next week with another episode of Gamer Boy Gossip with your boy Dusty Snakes.